good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for joining. Happy Monday, everyone. We were discussing this before, but unless you didn't notice, we changed the the time actually, and the day is longer. Wow, what a great news! Something that we didn't know before, but blah, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> there we are. Anyway, um, Alejandro Larrea, Doctor Alejandro Larrea. Good yeah. afternoon. Thank you for coming again to Welcome Home to Nexa Thank FM. Thank you very much. For yeah. like, we, it's a pleasure to have you here. <coughs> and you came, you came some weeks ago. We discussed about um, health and well-being. Yeah. Your your project that you were going to start, um, the way you work, and the knowledge that you have. Mm -hmm. So we said, okay, let's. We need some specific sessions, specific episodes, and shows and podcasts to cover and to address several points and different points mm -hmm. uh, that are part of your the way you work. Yep. Because it's also true that with 40 minutes or with one podcast, you cannot sum up everything that you may address with, mm. uh, with how do you call it, patient, c client? Clients. Customer. Clients, yeah. correct. It's not a patient, but a client or, yeah. or a customer. So today, how are you, by the way? How are you? I'm great. I just started working in the clinic of Arena Sports Center. It's the biggest sports center in, I would say, in the province. Mm -hmm. And in Spain, what well, I haven't checked, probably is like top three, top five, but this is great. And the lifestyle there is huge, so the lifestyle is great. And I'm there just supporting my, my colleagues. There's a few physiotherapists there, um, mm -hmm. a medical doctor specialized on sports medicine. And now I come in just managing the um, well, integrative uh, medicine and wellness. Mm -hmm. And really happy because I can bring uh, specific genetic tests as well as my... Yeah, I can see for your face you didn't... Okay, so test... No, no, I'm, I'm listening like Escucha Activa. I'm listening carefully right. to what you're saying. All so right. when you finish, I will ask you Okay, questions. but I, I, <laughs> I, I know already what you're going to ask me. So, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, well, bringing my, my health and well-being programs because at the end, I think all of us want to live uh, longer and healthier life, sleep mm -hmm. better, have more energy and enjoy what we eat, right? I think... All of, of us would, would mean, love to do that, right? Having lunch or having dinner, eating is a pleasure. It is. So why should be punished or why should we, you know, restrict but our diet? The, the, the sad thing, so I just finished uh, an interview with a client. It's been three months she, we were together. And we finished the program. She did a three months program with me and she finished just right before Christmas. So it's been three months and she not only recovered, she lost in 12 weeks around eight kilos, eight, nine kilos. In 12 weeks? In 12 weeks. There's no, I mean, my, my problems are not necessarily, I mean, if you are an obese person and you, you need to lose 20, 30 kilos, you will. But my problems are not based necessarily only on losing weight. It's about improving your metabolism. What does it mean? That a lot of people, because of our lifestyle, at the end, our, our metabolism is like a car. I like to put simple examples. And I like my clients to have like a Ferrari as a metabolism and not like a, well, I'm not going to mention a, any, a any, any brands yes, like, we or, Shakira. yeah, yeah. The, no, it's not a Clio. It's like a Twingo. What, a a Twingo. Twingo. Yeah. So let's use the Twingo. So I prefer a BMW for my clients than a Twingo, right? Okay. Um, so this is what I try to do. And we can manage this or we can improve this by improving our eating without diets. Diets, remember, do not work long term. Okay. Yeah. Watch out the... Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah, I realized Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. So let's recap. Yeah. At the beginning of, uh, of microphone, we were discussing yeah. that the mm -hmm. way you address... Um, any situation, any mm -hmm. patient, any client's uh, circumstances, you focus on five pillars. Yeah. Like five, uh, yeah, I would say yeah, pillar, domains. Yeah. Yeah. And today um, we decided mm -hmm. that we might address stress. A stress. Which yes. is, I may, is it, I think stress is a in everyone's life mm -hmm. at the moment, nowadays. Yeah. And I think um, if you're having a conversation or if I'm having a conversation with someone and they, she, he is having an issue, a problem or something that is like an ache, I, I always end up saying, oh, that might be stress. Stress yeah. causes everything. But is that so true? I mean, is that in the basis, in the core of everything? So yeah. Bad? yeah. Damn it. Damn it. It is. <laughs> it is. It's almost every single disease root is the uh, root problem mm -hmm. or root cause is inflammation. And it's proven that uh, cortisol, which is the stress hormone, mm -hmm. causes inflammation. So it's like uh, having 
uh, fat in your pipes in the, in the in your house if you have uh, like mm -hmm. the pipes of your house full of of, of dirt let's say so okay. this is this is what uh, stress uh, let's say um, they yeah, produces in your body mm -hmm. right this is basically messes up all the how the body is supposed to work it messes up all our metabolism for example mm -hmm. uh, if you have high levels of stress mm -hmm. Our body is not capable of burning fat. For example, we all would like to be leaner, right? So loosen a little bit of belly fat, oh, of long handles, know. legs, uh, butt, etc. Your glutes. And now we're on the bikini uh, season. Frame. Yeah, <laughs> time, absolutely. Time frame. So yeah. what the stress that one of the things that the stress does is I'm I'm here generalizing, obviously. I'm giving a, 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 a broad view about this because then if we go to the specifics, then this will be not a podcast about well-being. It will be about biochemistry. So that's not the point. It will be a thesis. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so we are not here for that because no, because, you know, I, I listen to a lot of podcasts, to a lot of YouTubers. And then if you pick up one thing that I say and then you get just only this thing, then uh, no one could talk if you just get if you don't get the we whole call it out of context out of context exactly so if you get something out of context of, of in a 40 or 30 minutes conversation you get like 10 seconds mm -hmm. then uh well i don't think no one will ever be able to talk right yeah but i think that's uh, one of the reasons that i think that we are oh yeah the, that we are so stressed nowadays is like we want everything fast straight away and and short and things take longer everything i mean they are for example um when mm -hmm. i work with my clients my first session so you know that i work with a three months program two or three months mm -hmm. program so 12 weeks actually good to know i didn't i re didn't remember yeah. that so good to know if we're gonna start being your client we yeah. need to bear in mind that we will have a three a 12, 12 week program okay 12, 12 week, week program yeah. that then can be uh, followed by uh, three or six months like follow up mm -hmm. but the main program is basically like a like a master's mm -hmm. right it's a master's in your health and well-being mm -hmm. personalized to you not to anyone so it's about you mm -hmm. and that's what is important because um, for example the way a normal uh, doctor you go to the doctor and you're with him or with her like 5 10 15 minutes right and if we were together our first session is gonna be three hours Wow yeah that's a lot <laughs> that's that's a lot because it's and sometimes it's sometimes i i need to push it a little bit more not much because after three hours also it's a lot of information okay okay yeah. okay but look, so during these three hours you're i i assume you're asking questions or like you need to find out some specific of information course, yeah. and you're noting everything on the computer like mm -hmm. well i i like to i, I like to really? i don't yeah i like to to take notes write down and, yeah everything. i like to write down everything yeah okay. then i put it in the computer but yeah and uh, the questions are are going like from different domains maybe also yeah. psycho psychology emotionally and uh, mm, is uh, so habits. basically i work is 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 all about habits so in order to be able to help you with your lifestyle, mm -hmm. I need to know what is your lifestyle. I need to know about you. I need to know about what you eat. I know what are your stressors. I need to know your your life in general, right? That's that's what's important because then when we, once we have this, we know what is the diagnosis that you have from your doctor because mm -hmm. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm a, I, I'm a doctor because I have a doctorate degree and a PhD, not because I studied medicine. I never want, my father was a doctor, medical doctor. I never wanted to be, and I don't want to be one. Why? Because if I was one, I would be doing what almost everyone is doing, which is I diagnose, I uh, give a uh, medication mm -hmm. and that's all. A conventional, a conventional traditional this is how it works mm -hmm. i'm not saying it's better or worse i'm just saying uh, stating the facts that this is how conventional medicine works you go to the doctor you have a diagnosis and then you get a medication a for drug that for that issue that for that maybe specific not, issue we don't analyze and try to find out the root that that's that. my job so integrative medicine is basically finding the root cause of the problem mm -hmm. right it's like uh, imagine i always put this example imagine we are in a boat or you come to me because i'm a boat mechanic right mm -hmm. and uh, i'm not sure if that's correct but anyway a boat mechanic and you come to me because you have a hole in your boat and imagine what i give you is i give you a bucket and i tell you hey 
here you have the bucket and oh I see the hole is like this mm, I calculate that well you need more or less uh, every 12 hours you take the bucket and you put one out every 12 okay, hours thank you now I will what <laughs> now, what, what would you tell me? I'm the expert, so I'm telling you you should do that. So what would you do? You do that. I would do that, yeah. But what do you think we should do with that? I think we should go to the coast. <laughs> and, and then, I don't know how to say, to park, to park the boat. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, try to fix it. The okay. hole. Yeah, exactly. Right? So this is my goal, to understand what is the root cause of your disease mm. and then not diagnose because you already have a diagnose from your medical doctor and then how I can help you actually before even working together we are gonna have one session where, where I'm gonna I need to under, we need first to get to know each other and I that honestly would be that three hour session no no no, no that no. would be just one 45 50 minutes okay, no no that's contact. not three hours first contact. first contact because I need to know if we are compatible to working of I working am, together you said that I said that because feel comfortable both ways both ways I mean yeah. this is a mm -hmm. this is in reality a coaching program so both of us I'm gonna put a lot of energy into you and I need to feel that we both I mean we both need to feel that we are compatible because we're gonna be working together for three months so, and I put a lot of energy on this. This is not that you come visit me and then I don't hear about you. I have my phone, you will have my WhatsApp, or we are gonna have a way of connecting with each other mm -hmm. uh, because I'm gonna be there with you along the way. So this is important for me. Second, it's important also that I understand what is your situation and I can help you, right? But the end, the, the core of my help is helping my clients to change their habits to achieve a specific goal. Okay, okay. Then um, going or like taking this sentence or this this goal or the the core of your of y the way you work. Mm -hmm. Let's go back again to, to the stress. Stress, stress yeah. management. So we were saying the stress is sometimes the root cause of many different issues. Yeah. And it's also it's true. It's like a common trend nowadays that we say you need to. Uh, control, you need to manage the stress, mm -hmm. you need to, but how do I do that? I mean, it's easy to talk and to say that, do that, but then, of course. actually, actually, I mean, agree. So the first part is the way I uh, work with my clients is, first of all, they need to understand why this is important, because we need to understand that and what causes, I mean, we all know what causes stress to us, right? Mm -hmm. It may be different. Um, but what is important is how stress affects your metabolism, right? Or whatever problem, health problem that you may have. For example, I was working with a client that he had um, irritable bowel syndrome, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So a stress is, besides obviously nutrition, is part of that. Because when you have a stress, cortisol goes up, there's another metabolic changes in your body. Mm -hmm. And then this is something that is affecting your, your well, your intestines. Right? Uh, the digestion? The digestion, yes, of course, because think about something. And then I'm going to give you some tools to, that you can actually apply, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, imagine, so stress is actually not bad. I mean, it's like, um, okay, stress I compare it with, with uh, going under the sun, right? We can agree that the sun is necessary for life. With okay. no sun, there will be no humans, no life, no, no right. life mm -hmm. without sun. But too much sun is also not good. Right? The burnt. same the same with water. Two, three liters of water is really good. If we would eat, drink 10, 15 liters of water every day, at some point probably we will, well, for sure we'll have health problems. So something that is necessary for life also can kill us, right? Mm -hmm. So in the same way, a stress in certain moments and uh, in a controlled manner is actually good. It's actually going to give us energy. We are going to have probably better mood. The adrenaline uh, maybe to be active. Exactly. We are going to actually burn more fat, etc. Et but if we pass certain threshold, then it's going to be the opposite. And nowadays we all are stressed. Also stress is going to affect our sleep. Mm -hmm. And then if we don't sleep well, then the next day, obviously, we are not going to have the same energy. Mm -hmm. Also, stress triggers uh, hunger. Bad humor and bad humor. Uh, everything. So everything well, yeah. goes wrong, mm -hmm. right? So also triggers when uh, I have one specific client that I tell her always uh, about that. She's an entrepreneur. She's always super busy, working all the time. Mm -hmm. 
Alejandro, today, yesterday I need to work for a project and I need to go to sleep at 2 a.m. And the last thing she did is close the computer, go to bed. Well, that's, that's, sometimes we need to do that. Okay, it's, it's, it's everyone. That should be an exception, right? It like, is, I like, mean, it's, yeah, it is, I did but. I that, but it's not my everyday. As long as it's not your everyday, habit. we all have those, uh, you know th those times where this needs to be done and, mm -hmm. and we can have high stress but then we need to compensate that okay. right but the problem is there's people that we live i used to live like that and i didn't like it i'm also an entrepreneur and i had a business in china in shanghai you know that, that, that yeah and that sounds crazy i mean it's not compatible with and a smooth life you know it's <laughs> not it's absolutely not uh, doing a business having actually a, a, a and a sports center or a wellness center, functional training with, uh, so it's a lot of things that you need to manage working from 6 a.m. to 10 or 11 p.m. and then from Monday to Sunday is really, so this is something that I changed, this is in the past. Mm -hmm. And we also, we need to understand that we put, most of the times we put ourselves in that position. Correct, that is true. And I think it, it, it might also influence or have an influence the nowadays society that we need to be so productive and overproductive yeah. and we need to give our 100% and improve and be the best version of ourselves. Yeah, right? yeah. it is. And it's a constant pressure. And then the social media, which is more psychological pressure to be the best and compare yourself all the time with others. Mm -hmm. And at some point, uh, this puts, is, is not healthy for us. Our brain is not, uh, is not it was not designed for that we are not designed to be always in constant communication with other people mm -hmm. comparing ourselves like this social pressure so uh, just to give some tools the first thing that i recommend to all my clients this is so simple so i recommend i like to recommend simple things mm -hmm. because at the end we always try to see what is the next thing what is the latest actually everything is already invented most of the things like regarding psychology psychology uh, coaching uh, mindset most of it, the best is actually to go like 50 years ago. Mm. Like I really like Jim Brown. It was great. He's kind of the, the father of, of, of coaching and- Jim and Brown. Jim Brown. Okay. Jim Brown. I'm gonna take notes yeah, because take I notes. want to learn. Also <laughs> Brian Tracy. I remember when I was like 20 or teenager, I was reading a lot of books from Brian Tracy. And I'm happy that I, I met actually the, the, well, Brian Tracy is already quite old. I think he's in his eighties. But I, I, I got to know in Australia the guy that manages all the programs from Brian Tracy. So um, it was really good because at the end, everything is almost invented, right? Mm -hmm. Productivity, mindset, uh, emotional um, intelligence, uh, or yeah. Yeah, emotional intelligence, and uh, all this is super important. So the first thing, one of the first things that I tell my clients to do is just as simple as get a blank piece of paper sit down, no phone, no TV, nothing, just sit down and write all the things that are taking energy from you. Okay. I That's will all. Write that. Okay. Everything that comes to mind, whatever it is, right? Things that you would like to do and things that you should have done. So whatever is in your mind, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever is in your mind. So 30 minutes. But that habit is like on a daily basis or like no. today? Or like Ideally, you do this, uh, if you could do weekly, that would be great. Okay. For example, Saturdays or Sundays, and that one day that you are relaxed, mm -hmm. that I like to do this. Uh, I live uh, nearby the, the beach or the boardwalk in Alicante. So I just, I live like one minute walking from the explanada. So I just go there, sit down, no phone, nothing, no music, just in front of the beach. I take my notebook, mm -hmm. a pen, white notebook, and I just write things that uh, just that I need to know both personal life, uh, professional life. I, I separate obviously, but I think about, okay, what are the things that I would like to do and why? What are the things that I would like? So I'm, I'm, on, my I'm on the right path. So it's or like not. the to-do list or like the goals? Kind it's, of kind goals? Of a, it's more kind of like a to-do list, mm -hmm. right? Of things that you want to do, but we never, so we are always in a hurry of doing things. That's true. Right, that we never sit down, it's like, wait, 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 I'm gonna also prioritize and mm -hmm. see, and also there are things that we want to do, 
but there's literally no time to do them. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that is really good to do is, okay, once you have, but you need to have the list. If you don't have the list, you're like, uh, like trying to go somewhere without a map. It's like you don't know if you're going wrong because you don't you don't know where you're going. Exactly. Right? Is this situation. So it's okay. more or less. The, it's, it's not the same, but it's more or less like more that. Or less. Yeah. <laughs> this this is the yeah. This is what we talked before. This is the, the, the overall idea, right? Mm -hmm. So now once we have this, it's like okay, what are the things I can do in like uh, that takes like five, 10, 15 minutes, mm -hmm. right? And then even if they are not important, it doesn't matter if they are on this list. This is because if they are in your head. So Correct. if they are in your head. This is take, I, I also put another example, it's like the, the memory RAM of the, the RAM memory of the phone or the mm -hmm. computer, right? It's taking RAM memory, even if it's a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Uh, is there. Mm -hmm. So if there's something that even if it's not important or not urgent, because most gurus is not, no, you need to find the urgent and important and da, da, da. Yeah, you know, this is square. Yeah, yeah, so for me it's like, okay, just focus on what you can finish in five or 10 minutes, no matter how unimportant it is, because if you have written it, in a way it's important time or energy from so your brain come on if you if in, do it yeah so if in five minutes you can take off this and also the, the feeling of bah, done it you yeah, know it's like feels like good yeah? so you start with something easy because some people no you need to start from the most difficult part no for me it's like okay if you are gonna i'm gonna put another example if you want to go to exercise what is the first thing you do when I mean you go to the gym or, or whatever, right? What is the you put your shoes that, and you are you put yourself poop in the gym? What is the very first thing that you should do? Like stretching. <laughs> A warm up. Uh, yeah. Warm you up. need to warm up. Correct. So this is kind of the warm up. You don't start with the heaviest thing. I'm not no, gonna no, start no. squatting step with hundred step. kilos. You start little by little. So this is like a warm up, right? You start with the with an easy task mm -hmm. and you get one. Oh, so good and feels good. Yeah. And then yeah, and then you do another one, <laughs> okay. and it's and it's easy. It's maybe a call or something that an email that you need to send that is not like super long. Like an update to a friend, like oh, I want to. Anything. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. Okay. So and this is not a list that you need to do right away. This is like like a guide of what the things that you want to do, and also to see if you are in track because what usually happens. This is personal to me, right? Is that I tend to focus since I love my job and I, I always say if I if I was millionaire, I could do the same as I do. Probably it would work a little bit less, but still I could do the same as I do because I really enjoy it, right? I love my work. Well, that's a, a bless for you, a privilege, you know? It is, it is. Uh, but I tend to overwork, right? I'm a workaholic, I admit it here publicly, and for anyone that knows <laughs> no me knows that No one's perfect. It, <laughs> no one is perfect. So I need to not force myself, but I need to put energy to save some energy to meet with, uh, to have personal plans. Because at the end, if I go to a lot of networking events, a lot of things, and, and there's people, and, and it's networking, but at the end, it's somehow business, right? So I need to force myself, not force, but I need to force myself to put time aside for that. Because at the end, if not, I will be like working. Isolated on yeah. your own, not. Uh, which social I, contact. And yeah, no, which is, no, no, I mean, my, my work, sometimes what I need to do is to have time for myself. So I need to be actually isolated. Okay. So okay. my, my to know. I, I'm, I'm a social person, but I need to do that. So another point is to get to know who we are and what make us happy, mm -hmm. right? Makes me happy be with people, mm -hmm. right? But also makes me happy to be, to have time for me, like me time, yeah. right? This me time for me is going to the spa, going to the to the sauna, stretching, going to run. So at the end, this is like exercise, but it's also me time, right? Mm -hmm. So I put two together, so I save time and it's more like more productive, Optimize, right? Correct. Optimizing things so you can get to do more things, okay. right? Um, so coming back to what we were doing. Exactly, we do the list. The li we, first we do the list, we separate personal, professional, mm -hmm. right? Okay. We do the list and we start for the, if it's a Sunday, you really can you can plan a little bit but uh, for the week on what you are gonna do and you can focus on personal stuff oh i wanted to talk with this friend oh shit, it's been a long time i wanted to and then you use this sunday to to send a message or a voice message or to call or, or whatever you want right recap okay yeah mm -hmm. and then you start with the easy things and then you start going to the to the more urgent and important and things that doesn't take five or ten minutes it's probably 30 minutes one hour two hours whatever it is and you need to do it but there's also one thing that is important that i haven't heard anyone at least i haven't maybe someone has mentioned about this we need to learn as well to put things to postpone things mm -hmm. so 
I have, you have a list of many things, right? And maybe there's something that is important, but it's not really urgent, or even if it's urgent, if you postpone, well, if you can postpone, then it's not really urgent, right? So you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. you decide actively, it's like, okay, I need to do this, and this is, I know I have to do it, but right now is honestly, I'm, you need, we need to also be honest with ourselves, right? Okay. This, is, this is not procrastination. And if you want to call it this, I would call it, and I'm making this up, is active procrastination. Okay. What it's I mean a good is, term to okay, know. I, I just made up this right now. So <laughs> I thought it's the first time I'm using this term, probably it doesn't even exist. My point is that, okay, I'm gonna decide now mm -hmm. that this is something that, for whatever reason, I don't have the energy, I don't feel it, whatever it is, I don't care. I'm gonna postpone it one month, or two months, or three months. Okay. Why? Because what automatically happens is it's your decision that, okay, now is not the moment, it's not really urgent, so it doesn't matter if I'm gonna postpone this because I have many projects, I can, whatever it is, and then you postpone it automatically, it's like, like a backpack that you have. Mm -hmm. It's, again, a release. It's a release. You don't release everything because it's like, let's put, uh, following up with the, with the computer thing, it's like uh, compressing the file, okay. right? Okay, it's a zip. So it's a zip. <laughs> so still you have some weight, uh -huh. but it's like, okay, consciously I'm going to put this here, but still I need to have the zip in my backpack. So, uh, and in terms of the list being active, we would have our list of the to-do things or our plans, whatever. We would have this thing to do in a month. Exactly. And that would, let's say, we won't be thinking on that issue because already on the list we won't forget it but we don't have to give attention on a daily basis you right? said something Nuria, super extremely important mm -hmm. we mm -hmm. won't forget it okay so this is something that we don't really pay attention but if we when we actually write something mm -hmm. that's a matter if it's computer i like to hand write things but if you write it our brain is also even if we actively don't think about it our brain is also busy and stressed that we are gonna forget things. Yeah. yeah. And this is how it works, because we have many things to do. Mm -hmm. So once you take note, this is how, and this is our subconscious mind, it's not even our conscious mind, this is the subconscious mind, mm -hmm. right? Actually, uh, people, I mean, we are not aware about everything we do, otherwise our brain couldn't- Would is, collapse, come Would on. absolutely <laughs> collapse. So See. most, of, actually most of the things that we do is in automatic mode, right? <laughs> like most of the things that we do. So what we are doing with this is kind of sending information to our subconscious mind is, hey, no worries, it's here, I have it written, and it's in this drawer or in this folder or is here. And it's on the internet, so I cannot lose it. Or you, when I do it, I usually take a photo mm -hmm. and put in a place that even if I lose the phone. So you see, it's not also, no need to go crazy with that. But once you do this, it's like total peace of mind, which is the goal, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, this is about, we're talking about the stress, so this is lowering the stress. And you see how simple it is. I haven't give you like a, given you like a... No, we, in the first point. Yeah. It's just at the least. It's, 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 help, it's, it's helpful. It's super yes. helpful. So at the end, this is basically my work. So the work with my clients is on things that are super basic, mm -hmm. but no one is doing because we all want the latest trend and the latest app and the like last the thing. App. Yeah, the, app. the app or I don't really use apps for almost anything because at the end is if, if you need to use apps for a lot of different things at the end you go crazy I mean the, at the end we don't use them yeah right even for the I have a colleague that recommended me an app for the shopping list <laughs> and and I was like mm, yeah but you know I want to disconnect a little bit from the phone or maybe I have no battery and then there is no network in the supermarket yeah. in this corridor and I cannot yeah yeah just just take a note Easy. Take a note. Is, is the milk. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is the yeah absolutely. So yeah. this is this is something that is super powerful mm -hmm. because as long as we do it and also we allow ourselves, it's okay. We are we are not a Superman or Superwoman. Mm -hmm. We don't have to do everything. I mean, there are things that needs to be done. We do it. But if we know we don't have time, we need also to know how to prioritize. But if we follow this simple, because I think what I've just said is, I don't think there's anything that could be more simple, right? Mm. Then also we need to find time to do those things. Yeah. But as long as we have that, and also maybe there's some points that I've done in my life. Okay, 
I need to do this and also I want my personal life because maybe this but maybe this weekend because I have this project I cannot have my personal life because I need to focus on this okay what is uh, more important for me or what is at some point the way I measure or well, not measure my life but the way I think of this is okay what is gonna I'm gonna actually enjoy going out if I know I need to be there. Because I will be thinking maybe that No, I right? Do, so, yeah. or maybe yes, or maybe, okay, I can put it aside, I will do it tomorrow, I know it's Sunday, but, and I've done it, actually, I did it this weekend, right? Something I needed to do is, okay, Saturday's gonna be for me, and Sunday I will, I, I will, I will put some time on this, even if it's work, but it's something that, and I did it, and then feels great. So, you allow yourself, because if you want to do something, and then you do it, but you know, you haven't put aside that time for doing this other tag. At the end, you are not enjoying anything. It's like with nutrition. A lot of my clients tell me, uh, Alejandro, I just, this morning, a client told me, Alejandro, I don't even send you what I eat in the weekends because I punish myself and I don't even enjoy even if oh, she's sitting with her so family, sad. with her children. So what I told her is, you need to actually enjoy what to eat. I don't care what it is. If it's a pizza, enjoy it. If it's a burger, enjoy it. Just you need, we need to understand that. And once you are doing something, better you enjoy it. Otherwise, if you're not enjoying it, why you are doing it it's in the first double place? Punishment. It's double punishment. It's, uh, a colleague told me once like, okay, we need to be disciplined. We need to eat healthier, but we need to be happy as well. So a pizza from now and then it's okay no worries it's totally about okay. them yeah so i'm so, not gonna go to no, nutrition no, no, no. we will talk about we will yeah. talk about nutrition we in will, another one but yeah as we were said at the beginning of the episode yeah. we were gonna focus on stress management we will yeah. be addressing the other uh, domains or pillars of uh, alejandro's <coughs> um, therapy in yeah. other episodes yeah. so we do have a list what do we do, what do we do next like second um, tip that we can do to improve our stress management honestly uh, i mean we can do many breathe, things breathe <laughs> breathe okay people talk also about uh, meditation mindfulness right. that's that's great for me the most important part is to be mindful and to be when i say mindful people confuse mindfulness with meditation mm. Right, meditation is part of mindfulness, but mindfulness, the word is actually to be conscious. Fully aware of whatever you're doing, right? Kind of. Aware of what you are doing and how you're feeling and how whatever you're doing, just uh, how your body responds to that. This is actually the key of my programs, is that it's actually help you to understand or help you to understand how important it is to pay attention mm -hmm. Whenever you do something, how you are going to feel, how much energy you have, how better you sleep or how bad you sleep, right? I just finished a testimonial with a client and she mentioned, Alejandro, now I know perfectly when I sleep bad, I just need to look back and say, oh, why didn't I sleep well? And like almost uh, 10 out of 10 times is, <laughs> oh, because yesterday I did this, this, exactly. and I know I haven't slept. So once you realize about this, what is the magic of this is once you realize about this, then you don't have to push yourself. This woman is uh, 50 plus, and she just mentioned that since she had her daughter 23 years ago, she has done like more than 15, 20 diets, probably more in her life with different professionals. And uh, the thing is, she never could uh, stay with that. And it's been six months since we started working together and she keep it up because he was the one mentioning that, right? He's like, now I know how I feel when I do this and feels great, so I don't have to force myself to do anything. It's because just I, my... Yeah, it's the reward. It's the reward that I get doing the right thing, but not because I have to do it, it's because my body is asking me for this thing, so I want to do more of the things that uh, help my body and my mind to feel better. So with the stress, it's exactly the same. Once we know that, so my second advice, the first is the... the, the the one that I just mentioned. And the second one is be mindful. Be, have a consciousness about what is happening to you and how you react to this, right? Because in our reaction is also something that we, uh, we are gonna be able to control that because we cannot control what happens to us, mm -hmm. but we can control how we react to that. Mm -hmm. Correct. And if you're not happy on that, then we can change it. Otherwise, we are like a wild animal, uncontrolly, uncontrollably, and and then um, there's another discussion. Like it's great to 
to have the you know the temper to be angry to be able to have arguments and discussions absolutely but then it's like a, i call it like a hangover to your body yeah. because, because you're suffering that emotion as well absolutely and in a way it doesn't help you at all it doesn't but also i'm for example i've been working on this for myself for a long time and I'm kind of a volcano, right? So really? when something, yeah, I'm, I'm oh, kind of like that. So calm. Oh no, 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 no! I try. No, I mean, yeah. <laughs> depend on what on which situations. Weapon mode. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I would say like a grenade mode or like uh, or like the gun, gun, the machine gun. I would say machine gun or or torpedo or something like that. Yes, but <laughs> I know myself, so I know I'm a, I'm a volcano. And uh, a few years ago, not that not that long ago. Uh, if I get mad with someone or I got in an argument, whatever, I keep it in my mind for weeks. Wow. No way. And I was not happy with that, right? And it's like, okay, I don't like it. Oh, but some people, oh, I was born like this. It's, yeah, well, we are born in a way, but we can change. I mean, I'm not going to go to, oh, I don't care, yeah. right? But this is something that requires work. Now I get mad or a situation like this happens, mm -hmm. and usually in two or three hours, when before, like three, I'm talking three years ago, maybe, yeah, three years ago. Took me maybe two weeks. Now it takes two me weeks. two hours or three hours. Some things could be one or two days. It's like a hard digestion, right? Mm -hmm. Something is fast digestion. It's like okay, this is bad, and and I need to and I know that I cannot hold it inside, right? I need to talk with a friend or talk with someone that knows about this topic, about what happens. I need to put it out. Correct, and that could be either, as you were saying, either a conversation or. Or therapy, sports, or, or yeah, yeah, yeah or, or talk or sports, or talk with a psychologist, or you know, whatever, just, just find professor or a friend. If you can find a friend, you do that. I do it with friends. But if I need a professional, I will go to a professional. Mm -hmm. And then I know that I need to put it out. This is how I handle this. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying everyone needs to do this. This is I know I've discovered this is what works for me. I need to put it out and instead of. Being no, because if you panel. keep it, no, because if you keep it inside, it's gonna root inside you, right? Mm -hmm. So you need to uh, put it out. I don't mean in the world and share your problems in YouTube with the rest of the world. That's that that makes no sense as well. But whoever wants to do it, but up to them. But is uh, you talk with a friend is what I do. Talk with a friend or with a professional. You put it out, and then you need to learn also how just let it go. Okay. And this is something that is not easy. I didn't go from staying like mad or with a, this feeling like. You know, for from two weeks to two hours in a day. Of Actually, course. it took me. This was about a process, and I was working with a psychologist with that, mm -hmm. right? For one year. Why? Because if you and this is the one of the best advices that I can. I'm not trying to sell you myself, but this is if you have problems with something, find a professional that can help you with that. And I'm the first one that I like to apply this rule with myself. If I, have a, if I have a problem, I try maybe first do it myself, right? And then if I don't have this knowledge for whatever reason, well, I find a professional because this professional is going to give me certain tools that I didn't know and is going to help me to actually achieve this goal much faster. Yes, I need to do an investment, but if not, I'm going to have this. So at the end, is what is more important to you, right? Because then we spend money in phones, in computers, in, in many things, in clothing, but we don't spend or we don't invest that much or at all in our health, but both mental and physical. Mm -hmm. And this is something super important that uh, the other day I was talking with my cousin and, and he mentioned, Alejandro, you know that, <coughs> you know that uh, these teeth, the ceramic or pores, like ceramic La teeth, uh, this costs like 10,000 euros only for the upper part and like 10, 15, depending on you go. It's like, really? I, I have no idea. It's like, okay, I mean, if people want to pay for that, but then I told him, okay, what a person that has a health problem, mm -hmm. why they are not willing to pay for, like, that. for that, like a fraction of that price, I'm talking like 10 or 20% of that amount in their health to, uh, for like your obesity, because being obese is not healthy. Uh, this is a fact, it's not my opinion, it's a fact, or yeah, many even other... A, a, a psychology as well. A psychologist, uh, like it's any problem that you may have. considered to be expensive, but it's true that you pay, you might pay for, I don't know, like sun, uh, fake sun painting or, or whatever. Or it's anything, true. clothes or, or just mm. anything. Or like so a mobile phone, like 1,000 euros in a mobile yeah. phone, it's okay, it's like average, but for the psycho, it's expensive for a psychologist you uh, they charge like 50 60 euros and the session? Uh, yeah. a session i mean 
uh, when I work, I like to, to work in, in a specific program. This is, this is personal or personal. I mean, what I recommend to people is not, okay, I'm going there and I'm going every week and okay, for me, I believe that what works, uh, depending on the situation, obviously mm -hmm. I cannot really generalize here, but my opinion is uh, this is why I like coaching because coaching, you have a certain goal and you have a certain time frame to do it, right? If you have obviously a mental disease, then this is different. This is just if you want to get to a goal, mm -hmm. ideally you should frame it, time frame it. Then obviously you can extend it if you need to. It's not like, oh, I need to do it in three months and then if you don't do it, we get into a depression. No, <laughs> it's fine. We can, be, you know, we yeah. can extend that. But it's important to invest on your health because at the end, what I, the most important for me thing for me uh, is happy. I just want to be happy. Mm -hmm. I want to be happy. What makes me happy? And this is something that you can do in your list because if I ask people, I ask this to a lot of people, what makes you happy? And then they start telling me all the things that make them unhappy. Mm. It's like, no, 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 but I ask you what makes you happy. Uh, they they, I'm, I'm pretty sure they don't, they don't know. know. They don't really know, but really, but really, honestly, this makes you happy, what makes you happy? Even the most simple things are usually the ones that are make you the happier. That's true. And usually they are free. Like in my case, just going for a walk with no phone, with nothing, this makes me happy. Being with people doing bowling, right? Mm -hmm. It's not free, but almost, and makes me happy. It makes you happy, and that, then the, the reward that you get afterwards. That's and this, what happens with that? Lot. You release stress. When you're happy, you release stress. So at the end, coming back to the stress part, it's all this is is all about happiness, right? If you're stressed, it's gonna be quite difficult that you are happy. And if you are super stressed all the time, most probably sooner or later you're gonna have health-related uh, problems because of that. So at the end, if you want to be happy, it's well, quite difficult to be also happy if you don't have money. People say money doesn't give happiness. Well, if you are poor, mm, it's a little bit more difficult. Well, you, need to, you have other things on, to focus on and then maybe happiness will be on the, no, won't be on the top. Exactly. Place, you know? So this is, this is kind of the, the idea. So to put it together, just my advice, today is Monday, so if you have time, you can do it. If not, just get a paper on the weekend. Mm -hmm. No phone, no distractions, go by yourself and think about this because honestly, this is going to reduce your stress. I mean, there's clients that told me, Alejandro, is this my stress went down like uh, from one to from eight to, to, to six or from 12 <laughs> or from like if in a scale from one to 10, from nine, it went to seven or seven and a half that you say it's not that much. It's like, well, it's 20% just in half an hour. In half an hour. That's great. Like, I mean, I'm. So we have the list, then we have the attitude of being mindful in our... Yeah, the consciousness. The yeah. consciousness in our lives. And, and I'm, you know, I'm happy that we are kind of contributing to the well-being of people. I mean, Welcome Home really appreciates you. Thank you very much. Well, <laughs> this makes me happy. If you are a little bit happier, you know, is, this is like a feedback loop, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy and I can help you to be happier and that makes me happier and I can, you know, <laughs> so this is... No, this is what I call is uh, the vicious cycle. So I call it the virtuous cycle, right? Which is the, the opposite. It's like uh, you do things that get other people to do certain things that are going to be better and everyone contributes on, on make it better things. To zoom, you know, not to, to the negative part, but to the positive side. And like focus. That. That's the last thing that I would say is focus. Mm -hmm. Focus on the good things. Don't focus on the bad things. So focus on solutions don't focus on problems because and, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was going to you know to add the crazy part of the, of the show but can we remember the song always look at the bright side, <laughs> side of yeah <laughs> okay but it's true so i mean it's a song but it's real <laughs> every i mean not everything but if you this is something i've been doing all my life uh i'm a positive person and at the same time, realistic person. So That's all the, because yeah. also we need to differentiate with all these people that I honestly don't, I, I'm pretty sure that's my, this is my opinion, that they're not happy, these people that are always super happy and I'm happy all the time. And everything's I, great, everything's gonna be perfect. I don't think, first, that's not possible. In my opinion, I may be wrong, but I believe that this is impossible. And I don't think it's even healthy. If you're happy absolutely all the time, I think probably you have a... a <laughs> I don't <laughs> think... I mean, we are humans. I mean, it's normal. You cannot be always like 100%. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe someone it is. Hey, 
I would like to be like you. But if you're like no, a not really. like hundred like percent volcano, no please, but hundred percent rainbow? No, no I don't think <laughs> it's possible. So all this is about happy life all the time. Uh, pff, but ninety uh, percent? Yeah. No, I mean we need to the point is to maximize those times, but is uh, is is not I don't I wouldn't say it's even healthy to maintain it. And I'm talking here as a, on a personal I'm not talking here professionally, I'm talking personally. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think it's good to, well, it's good. It's, it's necessary to have these ups and downs because then the up, you enjoy it even more. Cla exactly. So and it's kind of like you reset. But again, I think we're gonna, I think we're jumping absolutely. to another yeah. topic now. And so let's recap the stress part and we will have you, Alejandro, in Welcome Home in some other weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, can we already say what would be the other topic or well, let's keep it. Uh, Let's find out. Honestly, I would like to, I think better just find it out. We have a few, so I can say that we have uh, functional nutrition, we have uh, sleep. habits, we, well, we have a sleep, we have actually physical activity, not only exercise, which is important, but also not being sedentary and a few tips that we can get to, to not be sedentary and how bad is being sedentary and how we can, in one or two minutes, we can break it which is great. So simple tools that is, is at the end the essence of my job, these simple tools. Okay. And then we, we can talk a little bit more about mindset because today I, I, the last part is more about mindset, so about the focus on the, on not only on the positive, but focus not on, on problems, on the solutions. Mm -hmm. Once you train your mind to focus on the solutions, okay, I have the problem. And then I realize that I'm always one or two steps ahead. Whatever may happen is okay, what may go wrong? And then I already have the solution. So then it's less straight, everything is connected, you see, because if something may happen, I already have the solution for this, then it's like, okay, it's I don't have, so I have already the plan C, and sometimes I have plan, plan B and plan Z. I don't go, otherwise it's too much, but <laughs> you don't go too otherwise insane. there's endless, but it, this helps to be, uh, to reduce your stress levels, which was the point of, of today. Of today, okay, I feel yeah. less stressed now. <laughs> really. no, seriously, thank you, Alejandro, for joining us today. Thank you very much. And again, uh, we'll, we'll, quick recap, Alejandro, your website is... Um, uh, Dr. Alejandro Larrea dot, uh, ES for Spanish, but in English I have it also, Dr. Alejandro Larrea dot com. Dot com. So yeah. we will, you know, look on to peek into your website for more information and right. see you next time and welcome yeah. home. Thank you very much. I look forward to being here again. Okay, and I'll see you all next Monday. Have a great week and enjoy it without stress, please. Ciao. <laughs>